Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to recreate this, and they've already done it. They they did that. That's pretty cool. But because this is basically a triangle, it won't rotate. You, you can see it right there. You can the center is not in the center. And that, if you look at it closely, that's because these two parts, and this is longer, and it's basically the equal from if you go outwardly, but not as far as if we control D and duplicate this and then mirror it, well, let me back up here, mirror it from the center, you get that because that's what it's trying to do. Or if you take this and control D and rotate it to zero, you get that. So you have to manually move this down and, and try to get it on the money. Two ways to do it. Probably the easiest, and that's only, it's gonna work in this situation. These things are symmetrical. If we will take a two point line and go from that tip to that tip, that tip to that tip, just make sure you're on your nodes. That is the center. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually group those together, control G, so we can get rid of them in a minute. We're going to take this and we're going to control D. We're going to double click on our rotation and we're going to put it in the center of that. Make sure it is. And it is. And then we can rotate it 180 degrees and we're exactly in the center. Now we can go and go up to object and group and ungroup. Ah. And then grab our red lines and delete them. And now we have that exact, and you can see how perfect it is. The other way to do it, and it might help be helpful to them on doing something else, because this is a basically a triangle, we're gonna make a triangle. We're gonna hold down the shift key with this selected and double click on our rectangle tool. Well, there we go. And it put a rectangle around it. But if you can see the top of this rectangle is at the tip, these are not. So what we need to do is go to object and convert it to a curve and then kind of zoom in here and take our two nodes, select them, Hold down the control button and have it go right there to that node. Now all the nodes are there on the tips. We're going to select these two nodes and we're going to right click and we're going to add a node. Now it added a node over here, so we're going to delete it. Now all you have to do is just select that node and that node and select delete. Now we have a triangle with inside of a triangle but it'll be a little bit easier to find our triangular part by taking and going to the midpoint of the line. I'm on the edge and then I'm on the midpoint. Go to that node. Go up here to the midpoint. Go to that node. Go to this midpoint. You can see edge. As I move it over slowly, it says midpoint. That is the same center that we did before. Well, I'm off a little bit. Let me back up here. Maybe I didn't get to the midpoint. Take a two-point line, midpoint, right to the node. Ah, I'm off on one of them. It's not that center one. Let's try this again. Midpoint to that node. Now we're hopefully in the center. Ha! Ah. So it's, it's this one's off. You can see it up here. So let's just start over. I didn't do it. There it is right there. We can actually fix that by the shape tool and put it on that. Well, you know what? And we're not exactly on that cusp anyway. But it is right through the middle because we're not, are we on the other one? Yeah, see, we're a little bit off, but we're off equally. And that's just because we slanted it in. So that's our new center. So if we grab, the best thing to do would be to grab this and nudge it out of the way, and then select all this and group it. 
and then move this back with, I'm just nudging, control D and make a duplicate. Let me zoom in here. And then double click on your X and put it in that center, same thing. And then when we rotate it back to zero, we've got it right in the center. And then what's so good about this, you can grab the red and it's all grouped together and you can delete it. Now he did some cutting or welding because it acts like it's interlocking rings. Pretty neat design, I like it. Anyway, I hope that gave him some ideas and thank you for watching.